So I think to me, and honestly, to no surprise, my favorite region of this map has got to be northern Mexico. It's been so exciting. The, the cluster of nations and tribes in Mexico uh, itself has, has it's just been kind of insane. And then I had no idea that that Napoleon was going to get involved by declaring war uh, on the Mexico nation. So it was it's just been crazy. So let's take a moment to look at the Zapotec because they did make a very cool comeback uh, really recently and, and they're doing good. I mean, I think that as long as they uh, keep their military up, they have to always be careful, careful of the Shoshone. I think if anything, the Shoshone could uh, be the ones to wipe out most of this region now that Mexico is... I don't know. I think they're going to be a little bit... They're going to have their hands full, I guess to say the least. But at the moment, they're fine. The Zapotec are going to be okay because the Shoshone are too busy fighting the Chinook uh, up north. And I don't know. We're going to have to keep a, an eye on the, the whole development... You know, the whole development... Developing? What the freak? <laughs> the whole developing thing that's going on up here. Uh, I don't know why they haven't taken over any cities at all. It's just really strange. Anyways, so uh, the Zapotec's unique ability is they receive faith from discovering technologies. So that would explain why they have their uh, founding wait a second did they get did they get a religion did they get a religion no actually you know what Confucianism's founding yeah the holy city for Confucianism is from Maya interesting well still I mean they'll still be able to use that faith um, but yeah they receive faith from discovering technologies over time if the empire is happy holy sites founded upon hills hill tiles may spawn battle priests have no idea what that is but it sounds super oh that sounds super badass to be honest uh, so the unique units it replaces oh this is actually a well let's talk about the battle priest so the ba battle priest is a unique unit it replaces the inquisitor uh, and the battle priest is the ultimate wild card the ultimate the ultimate wild card unit that can cause absolute chaos upon the front lines I, I was like what what is that what is that when it ends its turn adjacent to any enemy units 50% health a uh, unit below 50% health the battle priest may passively convert that said enemy into a barbarian Holy crap, that is really, really cool. Uh, and then their unique building, it replaces the walls and it offers plus two science, plus happiness, and then during golden ages, all hill tiles worked by a city provided, uh, provides plus faith. Uh, it requires two gold maintenance. So yeah, I mean, they're going to have to pay a little bit extra for that maintenance because uh, you know how most wall, walls in general are they're, they're maintenance free. But still, that's a pretty cool, unique, bu uh, unique building. And that, I mean, that battle priest... You can just turn enemy units into barbarians. Like, yeah, you'd still have to fight the barbarians, but they're not going to be controlled by um, that certain unit. That's amazing. Wow. That's really, really fun. I might need to play with the Zapotec myself. That's awesome. Okay, so France has publicly denounced the Maya. And that's going to be something that we kind of see. Uh, I think that'll be a reoccurring theme uh, for the rest of this campaign because, well, the Mayan are down to one city and uh, they're in some trouble. They're actually no, they're not. They're not down to one city, but uh, they. I mean, everyone is surrounding their capital that can't really possibly be uh, reinforced at all by their northern empire, unless of course they get if they get open borders through Mexico or the Zapotec. I guess they could, but that's still going to be tough to to manage and to navigate. So the Shoshone are doing good. They have a lot of tourism. Uh, so are the Sioux. So are the uh, Canadians. So they're in the top three spots with ten tourism outputs so far. Uh, anything else that's going on because you know that's another great thing about the size of this campaign is that we can keep up with the diplomatic implications that, that are currently going on so right now the Denny and the Canadians have signed a uh, I'm sorry a friendship we have the uh, Anishinaabe and France with the friendship France and Denny uh, decl declaration of friendship Mexico and the Anishinaabe friendship Mexico and Canada friendship okay so it's just it's interesting I mean France I mean Canada's doing that they're doing the right thing um, Canada's going after those friendships, but remember one thing that you have to keep in mind if you're rooting for Canada is they're not, they're, they're, it's very unlikely that they're going to get their diplomatic victory. Uh, there are no city-states. They could still get a lot of, uh, ooh, wow, wait a second, that was the Anishinaabe declaring war on England. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't see this one coming. See, here's the thing though, we gotta be careful for the Anishinaabe's sake because, uh, they, they gotta be careful of the Sioux. I don't know exactly who's... You know why this military is being built up and who is it for? But I I I, I don't know. I mean, who I thought they were going to go after the Europeans, but maybe that's not the case. Uh, they don't certainly have to. They can pretty much go after whoever they want. And I know I just skipped over a whole bunch of those uh, diplomatic uh, implicate those diplomatic announcements. We'll we'll go over that through the uh, info addicts because, like I said, there are just not that many nations. It's much more clear looking at the declarations of friendships and the denouncements than, let's say, you know, our AI only world campaign. So that's pretty cool. An army of, uh, 
Musket Man or Musk Minute Man, I'm sorry, are being built up. They're all kind of guarding New York. This is kind of where this is the high, the high set stress situation. Now, here's the thing: is Elizabeth doesn't really have that many units. Is is she going to be able to fight the Anishinaabe back? I I don't think so. Honestly, yeah, she might have like a like the tech advantage slightly. Uh, I do see that she has a, a ship of the line, and she does have a few fresh riflemen. I mean, this this rifleman's probably going to get destroyed. Uh, their long bowman is a really really good unique unit, um, but I I don't know. I mean, you're, you're talking about multiple crossbowman attacks on Brantford here, uh, multiple. And actually, you know what? They didn't decide to attack the city. They're destroying units. Maybe not the best idea, but I mean, at least they're at least they're trying. You got to give it. I, I got to give them some credit for trying a little bit here. And what is America thinking now? You know, the the borders are closing down closer and closer towards you know Washington's territory. So I got to be thinking, you know, what what's going through his head? You know, and actually, you know what? It's been a while. Let's let's move him over towards um, Washington and see what happens. Let's see what he's thinking, because he's in a situation where he can attack the Iroquois. Uh, he can attack the English. Um, technically, well, yeah, he can attack the Anishinaabe. But that's that's about it. But still, I mean, especially with these wars going on currently where I think we're going to see a lot of these armies being grinded down to almost, you know, nothing. Uh, with all these unique units that he controls, his Minutemen, I mean, he could roll into something. He can produce these really, really quickly. Um, and that's one thing. I think, I believe he has, like, uh, a huge negative um he does, it doesn't require as many production as much production as a regular musketman would so anyways uh, world congress welcomes the city states oh but there are no city states so it looks like the denny are gonna win because i believe they built the do they get the forbidden palace no oh no 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 they did not uh who built the i don't think we're even close to the forbidden palace just yet well canada is obviously going to win this one i will not vote of course and let's go to the next turn Okay, so uh, the Anishinaabe have got to really, I don't know, they got, they got to focus their armies here or else they're going to let a, a really good opportunity slip away from their hands. Um, they, they need to take something. The Cree are too powerful in the north. I, I just don't think that they're going to be able to manage any sort of offensive move there. Um, unless, of course, the Sioux and the Cree get into it, then maybe. But, I mean, this is kind of their only shot. The Iroquois would be not a terrible decision. It's just the Iroquois are really expansive. I mean, that's part of the reason why I think a lot of people aren't, you know, super happy with, uh, with the Iroquois right now. Canada becomes the host. Yep, no big surprise there. Uh, Canada has publicly denounced the Maya, and that is going to continue to happen. Uh, wow. And the Zapotec, I think, are now going for maybe their final assaults. Because, I mean, the northern Mayan Empire can't really do much. I mean, look, there's rare, there's barely any units in here. Oh, there are. There, there's a little bit. But, I mean, for sure these crossbowmen are going to be able to defend, um, you know, I mean, just two units. It's no, it's no big deal there. The Kree have denounced the Anishinaabe. That's a big deal. Wow. Now, that's a shocking one. And the uh, Mexico and Anishinaabe nations have signed a research agreement. Okay, France is still slowly sending in units, but nothing too big. Wow, uh, have I been keeping up with the French expansion? Spain has now declared war in England, and I am, I'm assuming that Isabella wants Florida. Uh, that was the original plan, like I said. I mean, Spain was, I intended Spain to grab Florida. I didn't expect that England would be doing this like weird colonization thing that they're doing right now. But uh, smart move for Isabella to declare war at the moment while they're also fighting the Anishinaabe tribe. Um, and I don't know if they're going to actually use the support of their, their, the ship of the line that's defending London. So that would if if that's if they don't use that chip of the line, I mean Nottingham and Hastings, they're they're, not, they're going down. Uh, you're talking about only one English longbowman to defend against all of these Spanish troops? I don't think so. I do not think it think so. Okay, so the first uh, Congress of Ottawa is going to be the proposal of the World Congress, as well as they're going to try to ban whales. Who has whales right now? Uh, it's probably the Iroquois. No, actually they have crabs. Lots of crabs here on the East Coast, so it must be a Chinook thing. I don't know where the whale whales are at. Well, I'm sure they're somewhere around here. A lot of the uh, Europeans, yeah, there's there's whales, but nobody has that under their territory. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, so yeah, I, I can't spy anything that Washington is doing. So Washington is secretly plotting against Elizabeth, so maybe this is actually going to be the end of England. Uh, you're talking about two wars that have now formed up against Elizabeth within the last several turns. So... And I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the Canadians, too. The Canadians could be that wild card factor. 
maybe bringing in a few troops to land through London. I mean, London's a great city. At 19 population, that would be a really good situation, a, a really good uh, settlement to take over. Spain has denounced the Aztecs. Spain and the Anishinaabe, de Declaration of Friendship, and the Anishinaabe and Spain have signed also a research agreement. Smart of the AI. Lots of research agreements, uh, especially the, those natives. Getting a research agreement with someone, you know, from Europe, it, it's a really smart move. Oh yeah, Nineham's gone. Yep, England is going to totally lose their Florida Florida colonies. That's gone. The Shoshone and the Denny are now friends. France is still attempting some things here, but nothing really else is going on in uh, Central America or Northern... Well, I guess, yeah, Central... I guess, I don't know, where, where, where exactly does the definition stop of Central America? Would it be Guatemala? Would Guatemala be... I would. I have no idea. I don't know the technical... I'm calling this Central America, but, uh, I mean, maybe I should refer to it as Northern Mexico. Anyways, uh, the Shoshone of Denny, we, we knew about this. Research agreements. Okay. And Mexico has denounced the Cree. Interesting. That's multiple Cree denouncements. I did forget about their... I think maybe, you know, a lot of the nations that decided to pick up the territory right in the middle of, of, of this map really pissed off so many people. Oh, there it goes. It's about dang time, Shoshone. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't take something way sooner. The Denny are going for the Chinook capital, which is also named the Chinook. Um, but I I don't think they can take it. I don't think they're going to be able to take it. Where did this barbarian rifleman come from? Oh, wait, wait. That's be I'm pretty sure that's because of unhappiness, maybe. Uh, they're trying to get out a settler really quick. It's about time, Shoshone. So you should be able to easily walk into this city because it's, you know, it's not reinforced whatsoever. And uh, you've got plenty of your troops around. You've, I mean, you could probably do it with Pathfinders. Who knows? Oh, my goodness. Look at all these barbarians that are forming up. What is going on? Bam, Spain is taking over Nottingham. That's one city uh, in Florida, one colony in Florida. One more to go. They already have a cannon unit placed down. Uh, a crossbowman can attack next turn. Actually, two crossbowmen technically. No, this is Marsh, so maybe not. Washington is planning against Pontiac. Okay. And uh, France has denounced the Zapotec. Canada has denounced the Zapotec. Spain has publicly denounced the Cree. Uh, Iroquois have denounced the Cree. And the Chinook have denounced the Cree. Okay. Weird that no one's denounced, you know, it's weird that no one's denounced the Sioux. The Sioux have been kind of aggressive. They have a huge military. I mean, it might be one of those cases where I have noticed that if an AI has too big of a military, then other AIs won't denounce them. They don't want to, like, step on, on the toes of a really powerful nation. And I get that. That's kind of smart of the of an AI. But still, uh, a little bit odd. I would have think I would have thought that maybe Sitting Bull would have gotten a few denouncements by now, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, that's another nation. You know, the, the Sioux can really pick up two quick easy cities uh by taking these shoshone cities that are completely separated from the rest of their empire that would be an interesting development if that were to be the case yeah i'm gonna have to totally skip over these diplomatic reputation like diplomatic uh announcements they don't really matter oh the anishinaabe totally let just an awesome opportunity slip from their hands they could have easily taken something over that England controlled at least one city. It probably wouldn't have. It probably would. It's probably for the best, I would say, because you know how would they even really be able to defend uh, a city like Brantford? I, I don't think they would. I, I doubt it. Make a proposal. Dang it! I hate doing this. And let me guess, World's Fair was passed. Of course it is. It's always passed. Okay. Well, let's uh, can embargo city states. Ban luxury embargo. Maybe I'll try to remove the ban of, of Wales. Historical landmark, landmark, uh, sorry, land, historical heritage. I'm, I'm must, I must be, uh, historical landmarks. I am smoking some hardcore crack today because holy crap, I, I was, I was, I was thinking like, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not even going to get into it. But yes, the the banning of Wales was in fact passed. That proposal did pass through the world, the first World Congress of Ottawa, the first time. I'm going to try to repeal that, um, only because it doesn't really hurt anybody. Uh, if anything, it's 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 only going to get. Oh, it's because England has Wales. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. It, 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 at the end of the day, it doesn't really. That's probably the best proposal that I could have done. Um, at some point, I'm hoping that I won't have to vote anymore. Again, the Canadians staying really peaceful, very quiet. In the Northeast, which is smart. They don't want to... I mean, honestly, they're in a really good situation. Because England is the only person that can really stop the Canadians. And at this point, at least. Because we don't know who's going to colonize this area. Uh, the Iroquois and the sitting... Uh, the Hiawatha and uh, Sitting Bull have made peace. 
uh, the Sioux have given peace to the Iroquois. That's smart. That That's pretty smart. And actually, I bet you that there's no use for... Uh... Oh, I didn't even know there might have been a small battle going down here. Or maybe that was just the Sioux's way of forcing a peace deal on the Iroquois. Maybe the Iroquois were being stubborn. I know how the AI gets. Jeez, another city. Boom, Spain now controls Florida, and they're looking pretty good. They've got four cities down, and they kind of needed it because France is growing crazy in crazy amounts of speed here in Louisiana. They're, they're, they're going up almost uh, following up the uh, Mississippi River. Not exactly. I know it doesn't. it's not really, you know. It's a little bit in this area, but they still need to grow out their borders, and they'll they'll control a little bit more of that region. Anything going on in uh, Mexico? Doesn't look like it, but it seems like Zapotec is still trying after the Mayan capital. Okay, yep, and Isabel is done. Iroquois doing a great job, but I... Well, I mean, here's the thing. If, if someone's going to take out the Iroquois, they've got to do it now. They've got to do it now because... Well, here, And then, boom, there's another Chinook city that's fallen to the Shoshone. Uh, the problem is that the Shoshone are going to have to fight through three barbarian riflemen. And honestly, I don't see that happening. There is no way I see that happening. The Denny have kind of stalled out. I don't think that you know anything is going to come from their attack here in the east. Even though it's like the Chinook have ran out of units completely, uh, these barbarians, I think, are actually helping them out more than anything else. Spain and the Denny have signed a research agreement. It is almost turned 200. We'll probably check the demographic or the yeah the demographics the the, the demographics and the info addicts, uh, both in the next video. <clears throat> yeah, the Mayans are doing good. They're they're protecting their capital. They're going to be okay. Uh, Mexico and France, I don't believe has have peaced out yet. Uh, now remember, France has lost a pretty big chunk of their military, and Spain has actually held on to it somewhat somewhat uh it looks like they're doing a little bit better than napoleon here in the west in uh french louisiana i mean could we see an attack i mean if if, if spain is able to get up a few more units quick enough then yeah why not i mean i don't see anything that really france controls um you know land unit wise there's kind of nothing well i mean yeah even even navy even ships i don't see anything in terms of ships okay so what do we have denny and the Chinook have made peace. That's something that they really, really needed out this way. Um, I think, I think honestly, that well, I, I, they just got destroyed, actually. The, Sh the Shoshone have just destroyed two out of the three. This rifleman is already pretty low, although they probably got a lot of help from the uh, bombardment of the city. So, yeah, that, that probably helped out as well. 35% of the way through the World's Fair. The Iroquois in France have made a declaration of friendship. Actually, pretty interesting choice there. Pretty smart choice. Oh, the Zapotec are starting to move around the Shoshone. Oh, going for maybe Zapotec, California. Oh, yes. I'm okay with that. I like that. And honestly, you kind of need this to happen because the Shoshone are getting a little bit too powerful. It's it's kind of worrying me. Uh, the Shoshone are growing in some a crazy amount of power. I'm sure they're going to have to peace out the Chinook very soon, but... I, I don't know. I think they'll take maybe one or two cities more. Who knows? The first ideology has been adopted, and it's by the Sioux. The Sioux have chosen autocracy. Okay, interesting choice there. Uh, they're going for war. They're going for... Oh, and the first uh, influential... The first civ has become influential, probably with... Uh, who's the smallest here? It's probably with maybe the Aztecs. The Aztecs are, are, are doing way worse than the Mayan. It's just the Mayans are really vulnerable, the, uh, vulnerable because of their capital. Uh, okay, so the Denny are maybe going for their cultural victory. Smart choice there. And I'm wondering, so I'm assuming that the next ideology is probably not going to be autocracy. Usually those top tech civs like to do, you know, usually the second person to get to choose the ideology doesn't go with autocracy. That's not every, that's not all the time, but I have, I've noticed it, you know, for the most part, because you get two free uh, policies, tenets, right away if you choose something new. But that's not always the case because I, they, they still get one extra tenant if they were the second to, to found a certain ideology in a certain world. So the Zapotec have denounced uh, the mine. No big deal there. We do have these strong heart unique units by the Sioux that have finally came out. And uh, if the Sioux start to declare war on some nations, I mean, everyone, I think, I think anyone is gonna, would lose except for the Kree. I think the Kree are the only ones that are going to be able to stand up to Sitting Bull. But uh, we'll have to wait and see you. I'm going to have to stop right there, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.